Hey, what's up, it's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl, Vinyl, Vinyl. And today we're going to be blasting Hacksaw, Amplified, Noise, Slaughter. All I have to say is grind fucking core. Grab this beast and grind your fucking face in. So good. Just check out my review and... They do not have a band camp, so I'll put a link below because this is amazing. Seriously, I can't get over how fucking good this is. A perfect blend of, like, repulsion, even anal cunt. It's just, if you like grindcore, you are going to find something to devour about Amplified Noise Slaughter. This is one of, in my opinion... The best grindcore releases in years. It's awesome. Like that and Bone Sickness Theater of Morbidity are like two of like the best grind releases since probably like Worm Rot's uh, Dirge record. But um, we're gonna go over to Romania and talk about some cryptic realms. And the Rotten is Alive EP, which features five tracks that were on a split CD with a band whose name I couldn't even remotely figure out how to pronounce. But this bad boy is some sick, right, straight to the point, old school fucking death metal. And yet another sick Uriel... Aglion project from Gut Wrench, Varos, um, Rotting Away, a couple bands that have been featured on this channel and whatnot. And this is fucking sick. You get three straight up old school death metal songs that sound straight out of 1992. And the vocalist has this kind of Cam Lee slash John Tardy slash Barney Greenway Benediction early Napalm Death style of vocals. And they're fucking cool because they work. And they work especially on the title track here. Like the vocal influence by John Tardy, it's like really, really cool, but like the Cam Lee influence from like massacre etc it's very very prominent and i just felt like it was really fucking awesome i was like whoa this dude sounds like cam lee and like cam lee is like one of those vocalists i really enjoy his vocals like if you listen to massacres from beyond that's like one of my favorite death metal albums like but when it comes to later Massacre. It was kind of like, you know. But we still have From Beyond to enjoy for all eternity, and that's all that fucking matters. But Cryptic Realms here on the Rotting, the Rotten is Alive, pretty much just comes straight out of the gate with an old school death metal attack. You have guitar groove. You have everything you could kind of want from an old school death metal release. From the artwork, even the logo, to me, just screams, like, early 90s and stuff. It's fucking sick. And this is actually a reissue. Like I was saying, it was originally part of a split CD release. And, uh... Lead and back backing vocals were recorded in Athens, Greece. While rhythm guitars and vocals were recorded in Deva, Romania, drum solos and acoustic guitars written in Curbata, Brazil, and the bass guitar was recorded in Mexico City, Mexico. And Uriel produced, mixed, and mastered this bad boy. Holy shit! Wow! I did not know this was a worldwide affair. Holy fucking shit. That is awesome. Cryptic Realms bringing the fucking worldwide old school death metal community 
all together here on the Rotten is Alive. Wow. Five tracks that really, really have this early massacre mix with some early, like, Morgoth, uh, my bad, Morgoth. I would say that that's kind of what I was hearing a lot of alongside the obvious, like I was saying, Massacre, even some like Obituary and Benediction, but it's fucking sick. It, it's really, you know, straight to the point. It never goes off the rails, and if you're in the mood for some just like straight up trend free fucking old school death metal, Cryptic Realms has you covered right here with The Rotten is Alive. This is fucking sick, and if you're a fan of all things old school death metal, you're gonna fucking love this. And this is limited to a hundred copies on cassette through um, Cryptic Realms Records and Macabre End Productions. Yeah. So, I would snag this before it's gone, because this sounds sick as fuck on cassette. I'm going to actually throw a track on for you guys, and hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. Cryptic Realms, The Rotten is Alive. I'll play Shattered Dreams. Then we have Begging to be Dead, The Rotten is Alive. Shatters Disgrace and Scattered Thoughts. My favorite track on here is the title track, The Rotten is Alive. It has this, like, straight up, I thought it was Barney Greenway doing, like, guest vocals. Like, it was kind of that, like, <sighs> But, like, even, you know, if you listen to Massacres uh, from Beyond, there's one part in the first track where Cam does these, like, real high-pitched vocals, and then it does the same type of thing where it's just, like, <sighs> And it's fucking sick. So, we'll throw on some cryptic realms. The Rotten is Alive. Romanian death metal from all over the fucking globe. Really cool stuff, but pretty bare bones. Straightforward, old school death metal. And if that's your thing, fucking A. If you want some more original, outside of the box thinking when it comes to death metal and whatnot... This probably is not for you, and I would recommend, you know, something more along the lines of what's in front of me right now. Um, yeah, like, uh, Petrifications, Hollow of the Void, or something along those lines. More Bolt Thrower-esque and whatnot. Sick shit. I love Hollow of the Void, and I love Petrification, but... I'll throw on some cryptic realms for you maniacs, and hopefully you enjoy it. Hells. This is Shattered Dreams.
That was Cryptic Realms, The Rotten is Alive EP, on cassette through Macabre and Productions and Cryptic Realms, limited to a hundred copies. So, if you're interested in how fucking sick that sounded, I hope you heard the groove and everything, like, fucking A. But yeah, The Rotten is Alive is pretty much a good old in-out, in-out, old-school death metal experience. Good shit. And we were blasting one of my favorite grindcore bands right now. Hacksaw, Amplified Noise Slaughter. Fuck yeah, get into it. Thanks for watching again. Hells. <laughs>